Hello, my primary friends. Welcome to Singing Time. For this week's Singing Time, you will need a few things. First, you will need your hands. I hope they're handy. <laughs> You'll also need a handout that's included in your email and also in the show description notes below. I included two different sizes of these handouts. Tiny pictures, if you want it on one piece of paper, or larger pictures, which comes out to about three pieces of paper. So you can choose which size you want. You'll also need a laundry basket or a box or a bucket, something that you can pound on for one of our songs. In addition to these things, you will need some craft supplies because today we're making a leaf print. First of all, you will need to go outside and collect some leaves. Choose a flat leaf that has a bumpy side where the veins of the leaf are. It does not have to be totally dry. Mine was not quite flat, so I put it inside of a book for a, about overnight, but maybe a couple of hours would help too. Can't have curly edges, has to be totally flat. That will make more sense later on. For this craft, you will, in addition to leaves, you'll need something to put your paint in. I have some paper bowls here that I can throw out when I'm done. If you don't have any paper bowls, then you can use a plastic lid from an old sour cream container. You'll also need some paints, uh, quite a few colors, maybe three to five colors. I chose some fall looking colors to paint my leaf with. And of course, you're going to need some paint brushes. I have chosen a few bigger ones, like a bigger size like this, but also this size too. That is useful too. And of course, you're going to need some paper. So I hope that you have some on hand for your craft. All right, let's get to it. For Jesus Said Love Everyone, we're going to do this pattern with our hands and clapping. One, two, one, two. So you're holding your hand like a fist, and then you're patting it with that. But you're switching. Switch, switch. One, two, switch, switch. One, two, switch, switch. Jesus said, love everyone. Treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love. Freeze. When we sing you, we're going to pat our lap three times. Let's try it all the way through. Jesus said, love everyone. Treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Let's try that a little faster. So we've got one, two, one, two. And then on the last, you, one, two, three. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Faster. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Now, if that is a little too hard for, for the little ones, I have an alternative. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Can we try that a little faster? Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. 
Maybe we can combine the two. Hmm. First verse with our, and the second verse with this. Let's give it a go. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Faster. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Our next song is Thankful from the November Friend magazine. We introduced this song last week and some of you already know it because Sister Sharp taught you this song last year. Um, for those of you who don't know it, I thought it would be helpful to do some uh, pictures matching with numbers as we sing the song so that our brains can remember all the blessings that we sing about. I've included these pictures in a file that's in the show description below and also in the email. Take note that there is a large file with large pictures like this size and there's a smaller file where all of the pictures are on one page. So you can choose which one you want to use. So for this first time through for today, as we listen to the song, you can sing along too if you know the words. We're going to put all of the numbers down in the order that we sing them. So you'll want to cut out all of these numbers and put them down on a big table or on the floor. You could even do this on the floor. One for each blessed day, two every breath I take. we match the pictures with the numbers, I want to explain what the pictures are. This first one is a calendar and this is the word blessed. So this is each blessed day. And here is a picture of a little girl. She's thinking of her family and all that her family means to her. Here is a picture of the earth and the sky. These are eyes. Here is heart and hands and soul. Here's a picture of a little girl. She's growing up. She's growing. This little boy is so happy to be alive. His shirt says alive. Here's a little girl and she's blowing on this flower. She can breathe. She has breath. Here is a picture of heaven, of the sky up above. Actually, I think it goes like that. 
<laughs> so there's the sunshine and the sun rays and there's heaven. And here is a picture of a family. So let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they'll match each one of our numbers. Let's listen again to the song, or you can sing along with it, and we'll match those pictures to the numbers. Did you get those? One for each blessed day, two every breath I take, three for my family, four all they mean to me. Did you get those? Okay, then the next line is five just to be alive. Hmm, do we have a picture? with someone who's happy to be alive? We do. Five, just to be alive. Six, for the earth and sky. Do you see an earth and sky picture? We've got some eyes growing, heart, hands, and soul. Hmm. Let's sing it from the beginning. One, for each blessed day, two, every breath I take, three, for my family, four, all they mean to me, five, just to be alive, six, for the earth and sky. Oh, I see earth and sky right there. And seven, for heaven. Hmm. Do you see a heaven picture? I'm going to continue playing the song and you can put your puzzles together and we'll compare when we're done. Okay, here's what it should look like. We have one for each blessed day, two every breath I take, three for my family, four all they mean to me, five just to be alive, six for the earth and sky, and seven for heaven, for every good thing that I have comes from God. Every day, every hour, there are blessings He sends without number or end. 
If I counted a hundred or a thousand, I'm sure there would still be more to be thankful for. So that first verse gets us all the way to seven. And the second verse starts on eight. Eight for the chance to grow. Nine heart and hands and soul. Ten for the eyes to see all he has given me. I could go on and on counting the whole day long. I know he is with me for every good thing that I have comes from God. There, oh, I wanted to ask you to listen to the chorus and tell me what two numbers do we sing in this second part of the song? Every good thing that I have comes from God. Every day, every hour, there are blessings He sends without number or end. If I counted a hundred or a thousand, I'm sure there would still be more to be thankful for. Did you know what, did you hear the numbers, the two numbers in that last part of the song? If I counted 100 or a thousand, a hundred or a thousand. If you guessed that, then you were right. Well, that's our song. Next week, we will learn some sign language and symbols to go along with this song. For this next song, you will need a box or a laundry basket, something that you can beat on like a drum. We're gonna sing Stand for the Right and beat on our drum. Here's the pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do you see that that first beat is a little stronger than the second one? Let's sing it. Our prophet has some words for you, and these are the words. Breeze. When we sing be true, we're going to go with both hands. Be true. Let's sing it. Our prophet has some words for you, and these are the words. Be true. Be true at work. this part we're going to hit the sides stand for the right did you get that be true and stand for the right let's sing it again let's see if we can go a little faster our prophet has some words for you and these are the words be true be true at work or at play in darkness or light be true we can go even a little faster. Let's try it. Our prophet has some words for you, and these are the words. Be true, be true, at work or at play, in darkness or light. Be true, be true, and stand for the right. Can we do it a little faster? Our prophet has some words for you, and these are the words. Be true, be true, at work or at play, in darkness or light. Be true, be true, and stand for the right. Super duper fast. Our prophet has some words for you, and these are the words. Be true, be true, at work or at play. Good job. Today I thought it would be really fun to make leaf prints with paints. I'll put a link to the original video where I found the directions on how to do this, but I thought I would talk you through it. 
show you how I made this leaf print with a leaf from my backyard. Here's the supplies that you'll need for this craft. You'll need some, uh, just some paper, some regular copy paper. You'll need to cover your table with um, an extra bunch of paper or some newspaper because we'll be getting the table kind of wet. Um, you'll want some paint brushes. I have some different kinds here. I've got a flat one. I've got one that came with my watercolor kit. And I've got this other one that's kind of more of a craft paint brush. Um, some acrylic paints or poster paints, if that's what you want. Um, something to put your paint in. I've got little paper bowls, but if you don't have paper bowls, um, you can use a lid from, this is an old lid from a jar of peanuts or a can of peanuts if you have an old lid from a sour cream tub or a yogurt tub or something that'll work you just need something to put your paint on and you of course you need some leaves and I'll talk to you about what kind of leaves that you'll need you want to have a pretty flat leaf no curly edges you also want to look for a leaf that has really good veins on the back. That's the part that we are going to paint. Well, we'll paint both sides, but first we're painting this one, and then we're going to put it down on a piece of paper, and that will make a leaf print. I'll show you how to do that right now. But remember, you're, you want to choose a leaf that's pretty flat. And if it has little holes in it that's all right don't worry about it um, i found this leaf in a pile of leaves that were a little bit still wet outside and that's okay if your leaf is a little bit wet um, it does not have to be totally dry but again very flat a flat leaf so i put some grocery ads some newspaper down if you don't have any newspapery type of paper just put an extra piece of paper down like that so first thing I'm going to do is I am going to choose a paintbrush and you can choose any kind of paintbrush that you want to. This is just the one that I'm choosing. Um, so I've got my paintbrush and I put some paint in this little bowl. So I have used green and yellow and red and orange. And I think what I want to do first is paint my leaf orange. So I'm going to paint the veiny side first and I don't have to do it perfectly. This is just my first coat on there. Now I want to use maybe some red in there. Yeah, I'll use some red. Now I think that I want to use maybe a skinnier brush so I can do kind of stripes of color. So I'm just going to use the paintbrush that came with my um, watercolors, my Crayola watercolors. So I'm going to do some streaks. It's autumn time, it's autumn time, the leaves are falling down. It's autumn time, it's autumn time, it's all around the town. I think I'm ready to make a print. So I'm going to take a clean sheet of paper. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. I'm going to take my clean sheet of paper and carefully take my painted leaf and I'm going to flip it over and set it down on my paper. Now I'm going to take another paintbrush. I kind of like this one because it has stiff bristles, but you can, again, you can use whatever you want, but I think maybe the flatter kind of paintbrushes work pretty good. Um, and I'm going to try using this blue color. It's kind of pretty. And I'm going to make sure I don't have too much on my paintbrush. And then I'm going to start to paint the back side of my leaf. And in doing so, I'm pressing that paint on the other side onto my paper. And I'm just going to go around and whoop. No worries. I'm going to go like that. I'm gonna go like this. I'm just pressing it down. I'm gonna try a little bit of that pink. I don't know, maybe that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna do a little bit. 
Oh, it's turning different colors. I'm kind of mixing the colors, aren't I? We'll see what it looks like. And I'm going to carefully peel that off of my paper. And there we go. We've got a leaf print with all those pretty colors on there. Hello, primary friends. I have missed seeing you so much. Me and your other leaders and all the teachers have missed the chance to gather in the primary room with you guys each week. But we thought, even though we can't get together in person right now, we could still find a way to stick together as a primary while we're all in our own homes. So me and my leaders decided that we could find a scripture and all of us could use this as a primary theme and maybe we can focus on it and study it and hold it in our hearts um, to help us stay together and remember one of the important lessons that we want to share. So the scripture is in our Bible. It's in Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 and it says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And the reason we chose this scripture is because we want you to remember that you each have the light of Christ in you. No matter where you are, or who you're with, or how you're feeling, you have the light of Christ in you. So you can always share it or rely on it for comfort or help whenever you need it. So this week, to help you remember our new scripture theme, your primary teachers are going to be making a special delivery to your house with a scripture card and a little surprise. So you can keep an eye out for that. And also, each month, we're going to be having um, a little craft or activity delivered to your home that will help us remember to shine our lights. I hope that you're all doing so well. I love you and miss you. And I can feel your light even when we're not together. And I hope that you guys will remember that you are so important and special. And I'm excited for when we can see you again. Bye. That's our singing time for today. I had so much fun with you. Today we did a lot of things, didn't we? We did this awesome leaf craft using leaves from our own backyard or even our front yard maybe. And we sang about 10 things that we're thankful for. One for each blessed day. And we matched those pictures to the numbers. We also got to pound on a laundry basket or a box and we sang about how we can stand for the right. That was fun. I enjoyed that. And we used our hands to do a pattern, a clapping pattern to Jesus said love everyone. I love doing that with you. And we heard from Sister Mannion about how you can shine your light. And she let you know that this week you can expect a special gift from your primary teacher delivered right to your door. That will be exciting to wait for that. It's time for us to sing, I am a child of God. You know what, Sister Butterfly said she was gonna come and bring a special friend with her again, but I don't see her anywhere. Do you see her? I just, I really thought she would be here by now. Sister Butterfly! Sister Butterfly! Where are you? Maybe she's not coming. Hmm. Oh, Sister Butterfly, you came and you did bring your friend. Oh, now we can sing, I am a child of God. Let's put on our butterfly wings. Hmm. I am a child of God. And he has sent me here, has given me an earthly home with parents kind and dear. Lead me, guide me, walk beside me, help me find the way. Teach me all that I must do to live with him someday. Oh, thank you, Sister Butterfly, for coming. And thank you for Sister Butterfly's friend, too. 
and thank you for coming today. I'll see you next time. I love you. Mwah!